Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a cleaning video, but I'm going to be doing it vlog style because honestly I just don't have time to do a voiceover and I figured this would be easier for me when I go ahead and edit, but my house is trashed. I will show you in a second. We are actually in the process of packing up our house because we were, it's pending right now, so we're under contract. Um, so we are currently packing. My house is literally destroyed. Like I know I said this in the last cleaning video, that my house hasn't gotten like that in a while, but it is like 10 times worse than last video. So we're gonna go ahead, clean up my house. Um, I do have two little babies in tow. So I have a two and a half year old and a three month old. So I don't know what this cleaning video is going to look like right now. My little three month old is in his room sleeping and my other um, two and a half year old is on her iPad right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as much done as I can. Eli, my littlest one, he naps anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour and a half so I never know what I'm going to go ahead and get with him as far as napping goes. So we're going to go ahead and start cleaning my house because it is a disaster. It's pretty much bare too if you guys have been following along. You know I had like tons of stuff on the walls but everything is taken down so we're going to go ahead and clean up this house. I'm going to start in the kitchen so that we can go ahead and trash it again in about two hours <laughs> for lunchtime. That just happens when you're a stay-at-home mom. You clean one room, you turn around, and it is destroyed again. So not sure what is going to come out of this cleaning video, but we are going to try and clean my house, which is super messy. So let's go ahead and get started, and hopefully Eli gives me like another 20 minutes of sleep. <laughs> What you do Thing that has ever happened to you 
Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and come back to the kitchen um, only because I always do this to myself. Evelyn is occupied right now, so I might as well clean up her toys and things like that while she is watching her iPad, and then I will come back to the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this table with all of the puzzles on it, and then and then I'll just go ahead and show you the, um, I don't know, we call it the playroom, dining room, arts and crafts room, I don't even know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this. So this is what we're working with over here. It's not too bad. Um, just has kinetic sand everywhere. And then this is the living room. Yes, those are rocks. My child is obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up over here first while she's watching her iPad. And then I'll go back into the kitchen and wipe down the countertops and everything. Moving in the dark with every breath we take your fall. Take my Just be 
So Eli just woke up, which he gave me like a 45 minute nap, which isn't bad at all. I got, you know, everything done except for the living room area. I still need to go back and like sweep and wipe off the countertops and finish cleaning the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put him down on his play mat or in his little swing and see if he'll hang out there while I finish up this main living part. And then I have my bedroom to do, which is destroyed. His room is a little messy. Um, I have laundry to do, so we'll see all what we get done. I also have to go pick up groceries at, I think between 12 and one. So I think that's the next time he'll go down for a nap. I'm not even sure what time it is right now. If it's before nine o'clock, probably not. I probably just really messed myself up with his nap schedule and picking up groceries, but let's go ahead and see if we can finish up at least the living room and the kitchen before he needs fed and held again. Huh, are you still sleepy? And then I also have to pump at some point, which I have the LV. So if you see me walking around with a pump, it's the LV and that's what I have to do. I pump every two to three hours still. Um, I'm still trying to like get up a stash for him. I stash away anywhere from like three to four ounces a day in the freezer. So I'm trying to get a pretty good stash before um, I stop pumping, which I'm not sure when that's going to be. I could do it for another month or another three months i literally have no idea i'm just taking it day by day because it is really mentally and physically exhausting so we'll see um what time it is and when i have to pump and everything i'm filming on my phone so that's why i'm not able to check the time but what do you want to do you want to go play and evelyn's yelling for me so i'm quickly gonna go put him down go tend to evelyn i think she's in my bed watching mickey now she's done with the ipad so we'll go see what she needs and then Finish cleaning. Sound good? Sound good? Look at that bed head.
Now that the living room is completely done and the um, dining room area, I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up the kitchen and then sweep the floor underneath the kitchen table. Um, I just vacuumed so I just have pretty much like the island part to do and then wipe down the countertops. Um, the dishwasher just finished but I'm going to leave those in for a little bit before I go ahead and unload them. It is almost 10 o'clock, so I have about 20 minutes until I need to throw on my pump, which that kind of, um, usually I will just do laundry or something while I'm pumping because with the LV you can't bend over, at least for me you can't because then it spills everywhere and it leaks, so I'm out of breath, as you can tell. Um, I quickly try to get all the cleaning done before the kids are like up for the day and running around and Evelyn like making a mess and things like that, so... She's still in my bedroom. She's still laying in bed watching TV, which that's totally fine with me. It's only at 9.30 in the morning. So after this, after I'm done cleaning, I'll take her outside for the rest of the day. But I at least want to get my house cleaned because it is Monday when I'm filming this. And all weekend we were packing, so my house was literally destroyed. There was boxes everywhere, tape, bubble wrap, trash. We have like this huge trash bag hanging in the kitchen. Um, we've just literally been filling it with stuff from around the house all weekend. We're purging a lot of stuff. I packed up all of our winter clothes. I packed up like all of the decor that was on the walls. Um, the basement is pretty much packed up. And then I'm like working on the upstairs. So I got a lot done. We have until August 5th to get out of the house. Um, but if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that my husband is a professional motocross racer and we are like dead set in the middle of his race season. So we still have like six or seven races left. And so out of the 54 days we have to get out, like 17 of those days, we are at the races. So we really don't have, have that much time to get our house packed up. Um, we have a lot of stuff outside that we need to like take care of. We have an entire shed down there that's like filled with stuff that Joel needs to go through. We need to take down our playset because we're bringing that with us to um, North Carolina. That's where we are moving to. So we have like a ton of stuff to do. So I'm just gonna try to go ahead and get my house like cleaned and back in order and try to keep it this way, um, which it's probably not gonna happen with a little toddler and a newborn and all of that. So. Let's go ahead and finish up cleaning the kitchen and then I'll move on to sweeping the floors. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
life was dull until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away I was speechless when we first met, yeah Um, so Eli is now up from nap. He had a bottle. We just played in the dollhouse for a little bit and now it is time for me to come. So I'm not sure if he's gonna let me put him down. Um, if he does, I will do some laundry and I will pull out the camera, but if not, I'm just gonna sit down with him and pump. Um, I do 15 minutes each side. I only have one of the LV. So it takes me about 30 minutes to do like a full um, pump sesh. So. That's with my LV. When I do it with my um, Spectre, it only takes 15 minutes because I have both on each side. But if he lets me put them down, I'm gonna tackle some laundry. Um, I might quickly vacuum before I pump um, the rest of my living room. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, but as I am talking right now, I can feel my letdown starting to come, so I really need to pump. What's the mat? Do you need help? Okay, I need to go help Evelyn and then I'm going to quick vacuum, um, pump, and if I'm able to do laundry, I will do laundry. But he usually doesn't let me put him down right after naps, so he hung out in the swing for a while, but we'll see, huh? So are you happy now? Things just got so crazy from a simple maybe. It was a long way down. I just feel so heavy without you. Everything we were was just so pretty. Pretty enough to almost make me blind. Still denying everything you told me. I'll repeat it in my mind. All our memories goes on and on. Flashing up like disco lights on and on. The dance floor where I met you, I dance on. Feel so lonely now Walking through the cold streets Where you 
Pushing up like disco lights on and on The dance from where I met you I dance all alone Nothing left to prove Yeah, I'm dancing till my feet can feel the ground Wishing I'd still dance with you So a little bit of an update. I have fell off for hours. I think the last time I filmed something, it was at like 10 this morning. Um, it's almost like 2.30, so we fell off. But Eli was screaming earlier, so I wasn't supposed to pick up my groceries between until 12 to 1, but he was screaming around like 10.56, so I threw them in the car. Walmart's like 15 minutes away, so we went to Walmart. Went inside Walmart, I got a baby monitor, and then I picked up groceries, which took forever. We sat there and waited for like a half hour for them to bring out our groceries. I guess Mondays are just packed for them, so I'll probably never order groceries again on a Monday. But we did that, went to the post office. All of that took like two hours. Um, we came back, I unloaded the groceries. He slept for like two and a half hours, which is pretty good because he didn't really sleep last night, but I'm not trying to let him like sleep all day and be up all night, so... That's probably the only really long nap that he will take today. Evelyn is out eating some lunch. It is currently thunderstorming out. Um, but the last thing I want to do for this cleaning video is just sweep up the floors. I was going to tackle my bedroom. Um, as you can see, I started taking down some of the decor and my bed is just like a mess. I was going to tackle it, but I don't think I'll get to it in this video. I'll probably just straighten it up like off camera um, since it's already like 2.30 and the day has just kind of flown by for me that's what happens when you're a stay-at-home mom and you have little ones with you nothing ever goes as planned but I got most of my house clean it's been it's been um kept clean all day I put away the groceries I made sure I didn't make like a mess in the kitchen put everything away so I'm gonna go ahead and quick sweep up the floors and if I have time I will film me cleaning my bedroom if not this will probably be the last thing I do for this cleaning video you came to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on But when night in the shadows can ease your broken heart They turn my volume up, you shut your mouth going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you like the cleaning vlog style versus voiceover i just feel like i didn't have enough time i won't, wouldn't have enough time this week to quick do a voiceover so let me know if you guys like this and if you guys want to see day in the life videos um we just have like a lot going on right now so if you're interested i know my channel is like based around cleaning but if you are interested in day in the life let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it brought you tons of cleaning motivation and if you're a stay-at-home mom i hope it made you realize that you know all of your cleaning probably won't get done within the day that you're trying to clean with little kids and that's totally fine and if your kids makes if your kids make messes behind you that is completely normal because my little toddler does that as well she hasn't really trashed the place yet but i'm assuming by dinner time it's probably going to be trashed again we are working on cleaning up our toys she actually cleaned up um, we redid the puzzles and she just cleaned up all of them and she cleaned up her little people that she plays with so she sees me cleaning and she wants to clean herself which is fun but it is storming out 
you can see through the window, it is storming really bad here in Pennsylvania. So we're gonna go ahead, put on a movie, and make some popcorn and just chill for the rest of the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.